I uh, understand this is going to be shown in Texas, so I'll mention I'm a graduate of Stephen F. Austin State University in Nacogdoches. Maybe that'll help buy me a little bit of street credit. Uh, I picture my practice as a prescribing psychologist to really um, be an extension of what I've been doing so far, um, but with a whole new toolkit involved. I've been in private practice now for 10 years. Um, I work uh, primarily in an office that is on the outer band of the Chicago suburbs and that brushes up against the rural counties to the west of here. Um, by the nature of that, um, we have access to some psychiatric services, but they can be difficult at times to, to get quickly or um, to really integrate fully into what we're doing just because the specialists that work out here are so busy. <clears throat> so a lot of times we work with pediatricians and primary care doctors to get those needs met for patients. Um, I look forward to really being a resource for the therapists that I work with. Um, being a psychotherapist myself, um, I'm very, very invested in the psychosocial intervention side of things. And I think that that's um, exciting to the clinicians that I work with. I look forward to having someone that's uh, a deeper participant in that side of the equation um, and willing to really coordinate the medications more closely with what they're doing. Um, but I also really look forward to the work I do with the primary care physicians in the area. Um, I think I've been a resource to them thus far, but having the ability to prescribe really changes the dynamic a little bit um, in terms of um, them being confident that I have the knowledge to give um, really direct advice on, on what they're doing in their care of patients. The training sequence in Illinois, um, um, we complete the psychopharmacology masters in, um, which I did at Nova Southeastern University in 2008. Um, we have to pass the psychopharmacology examination for psychologists, the PEP exam. I did that four or five years ago. And um, a requirement that's unique to Illinois, we have a 14 month um, full-time placement at a hospital system comprised of nine rotations. And I'm working my way through those right now at Loyola University Medical Center, just outside of Chicago. Um, and in terms of where I'm at in the training year, I've been doing this full-time since the beginning of 2018. And Loyola is a very, um, well set up for this type of training. They're um, integrated uh, fully into a medical school, so they already had training rotations set up for the third year medical students that, that fit well with the goals of uh, prescribing psychologists, so they loosely based my training year off of that clerkship. And I've so far done eight-week rotations in neurology, family medicine, and internal medicine. Um, internal medicine was split between time in oncology and the general medicine department. I did a four-week rotation in emergency medicine and a four-week rotation in inpatient pediatrics. And I, at the time of this recording, am one week into my four-week rotation in geriatrics. And um, the plan is to have me go through four weeks of surgery next followed by four weeks of obstetrics, and then I'll have three months of um, psychiatry remaining in the training year. And it's been a fantastic experience so far. I've gotten to participate in every level of patient care. Um, I've probably, um, because the, the teams in the hospital rotate so frequently, I've probably gotten to work with somewhere around 60 or 70 physicians. So I've gotten a, a wide range of um, experience and perspectives and um, um, so far have been met with um, just a tremendous amount of acceptance. Um, once I explain to everyone what I'm doing and what the requirements are, um, everyone's been rather excited to have me there and very willing to train me. So it's been a, a wonderful experience.